it's Morton from iTech. And today I'll be taking a quick look at the iPhone 6. Now, this will be a re-unboxing since it's already unbo been unboxed and it's not mine. Uh, it took quite a while to get it, so, you know, I'm sorry. It's more than half a year after it came out, but, um, yeah, I, I just wanted to compare it to other iPhones and just take a quick look at it, so uh, why not jump into it and take a look. Firstly, there is a big design change with the box, since if you look at the iPhone 5S box, it obviously has the iPhone 5S sort of name, kind of logo thing written on the side. It's got the iPhone 5S picture on the front, and it's got a black Apple logo, because it's the space gray, space gray device. Now, if you look at the iPhone 6 box, it has not got the picture on the front. It's got this nice white sort of shape and size, and it sort of comes out, and it feels nice. Uh, then you only have iPhone written on the side, and not iPhone 6 or anything. Uh, and then there is no Apple logo on the bottom, and none on the po on, the, on the top. So, yeah, that's the specs on the back. Obviously this is 16 gig and not 32, like my iPhone 5S. Um, so, let's look at the device itself. So let's open it. So as I said again, it's a re-unboxing. This has already been unboxed. The uh, everything's back in the box the way it was, except for uh, the um, prote screen protector on it. So, um, if you lift it, as you can see, the iPhone's on the top of the box here. If you lift it out, you'd, probably, you'd have the plastic covering on it that you'd have to get off. You don't have to do it this time. Obviously, it's already turned on. Uh, but I'll play on the side first, and then we'll take a quick look at it uh, after looking at the contents of the, contents of the box. So, um, it's it's really not as it always was, in terms of having this little tray here. Uh, now you got this little hole here for the camera, uh, because obviously it's it's sticking out the back of the device slightly, um, so you need a little hole there. Uh, and then obviously you got this tab that you have to pull up, as always, to lift off the top. Um, then you have Designed by Apple in California. You open the little packaging, the uh, SIM tray, Ejection tool, um, some little picture to show how to do that. And then obviously you got all the, you know, things explaining how to use the iPhone, but you don't really need to look at that. And you got the Apple stickers. Uh, the other things inside the box, you have the um, ear pods, as always, uh, still wrapped in. That's not opened yet. Uh, with the Apple logo on the back. Uh, I won't open that because you know what that's like. Um, and obviously this is the wall plug, uh, also not used yet. Um, yeah, general white one. And then you got the cable itself. So that's the box. It's, it's nice hard actually on the inside, different from the old, the, uh, previous one. So uh, let's take a look at the iPhone itself. Okay, so looking at the phone itself, it's changed quite a lot since the iPhone 5S. So obviously the shape changed a lot, it became this round thing. Where you where apparently if you swipe through then it would feel nice on the edges so yeah well kind of agree kind of agree with that but I also think that it kind of looks a bit a bit sort of plasticky from the front I don't know I don't know that's my thought um, obviously the touch ID home button is still the same up here everything's the same except for the camera which moved from the top to the edge of the uh, phone thing. On the side you, you have the um, SIM tray and the um, sleep wake button which is obviously even moved from the top to the side. Uh, on the other side you have the volume rockers and you have the, uh, the mute button. And on the bottom obviously you, you got the lightning connector, the headphone jack, and the, uh, and the audio outputs. So yeah, on the back you have this shiny, the same, the same type as the, uh, as the new MacBook has the this shiny Apple logo. It's a bit, no, I mean it's nice, nothing wrong with it. But uh, so you got the double, the dual LED flash up here, which has two colors, as you can see. You got the microphone and the camera itself, the eight megapixel camera, which can now do 1080p video recording. And it can do slow motion at 240 frames per second. You also got these little band things here, which was actually taken from the HTC 
one, I believe, uh, which is where they started this first, and I think it looks better on that, but, yeah, well, it's part of the iPhone now. So, yeah, that's really the outside of the phone. The inside, I mean, it's iOS 8, it's nothing special, so. Just a quick size comparison to the the iPhone 5S itself, there's quite a big difference. And then if you want to put the iPhone 4 in as well, then that's another big change. So, uh, yeah, I don't know why, but, I mean, just that it's getting bigger doesn't necessarily make it better, so... I do recommend, though, if you have an iPhone 5S, it's it's worth going up to the iPhone 6, but not now anymore. So, I think you should wait for the next one, the iPhone 6S, or whatever it's going to be called. Because it's probably going to be better than this, and it's only it's less than half a year away. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. Uh, please subscribe and um, comment on the video. Like, share, everything. Do all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, obviously check out my... Um, Another video that's going to be coming up, the uh, the unboxing of this leather case for the iPhone 6. Yep, uh, so please check that out. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. And also have links for where to buy the iPhone 6 in the description. So, thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.